close. Ah, that was even closer, sort of, I guess you could say. This world is full of bullet bills. Okay. I can't remember if any of these have anything. Nope. Waste of time. Nah. Got a face full of bullet bill. Get him! Haha! -ha. And he was about to jump down too. Anything, anything, anything? Yes, no, no. Whoop. Yeah, I kind of figured he'd jump all the way down. They don't do that often, but when they do, it can sort of catch you by surprise. Okay, now this springboard jumps, or sucks. So I'm going to get the bullet bills off screen. Ooh, gotta get over here. One up chance. Ah, I screwed it. Oh well. I don't have much time to dawdle anyway. 7-2, another repeat level. Fortunately, Lost Levels does not have any repeat levels. Unless you count... <coughs> unless you count the actual Lost Levels, Worlds A through D. Which, I'm not sure if the original NES or Famicom version of the game actually had. I know the Famicom version had World 9 because I managed to get to World 9, and it was very interesting. Let me tell you, the, the Famicom version of World 9 is more interesting... Oh crud, that's gonna get me. Okay, it went over me. Moving on. Much more interesting than the Lost Levels version. Or the Mario All-Stars version, I mean. And then there's the version on Game Boy Color, which does not have any of the world beyond World 9. Don't hit me! Yay! Woohoo, I made it! Two thousand. It's always two thousand. Can you tell it's two thousand? Yeah, you can tell it's two thousand. And then there's this level again. But with the addition of Koopa Troopas. I'll just rush for this level. Where possible anyway. I'm going to want this for the next level. Ow! I guess I'm not going to have that for World 7 then. 7-4. But I got a... Ow! That sucked. Well, at least I'll have a mushroom for Bowser then. No, it started beyond the mush uh, mushroom. Never mind. No, that's going to make, uh... See, that's what should have happened there. I don't know why it didn't. Getting past Bowser here is going to be not fun, though. Because he's going to have those hammers again. 
Alright, let's see if I can remember the maze here. Start at bottom, middle, top. Start at top, drop down, go up one, go up one, jump there. Now in the Mario All-Stars version, there's a glitch here. If you hit the ceiling right whenever the buzzer would sound, it, I guess, counts you as if you were at the bottom instead of the top, and checks you wrong. That doesn't happen in this version, it, uh, or at least I've never had it happen. Back! Come on, yay! Alright, the belt's off. On to World 8. The easiest world in the game. Although it's also the longest. Actually, I take that back. Uh, I probably could have just run across those. World 8 is the easiest world except for the castle. Unless you have a fire flower. Yeah, I am pretty serious about it, World 8 being the easiest. I've played through this world so many times. Even more than I have World 1. Lots of practice here. There was a star or a mushroom over there, I forget which, but I don't really get pay attention to it ever. I'd rather not deal with the Koopa Troopa underneath. Let's see how far I can get with this. Oh, that's gonna... Nope, I wouldn't have made it in there. Alright. That trouble used to give me no end of trouble. I mean, that jump. Which is why I had so much practice at this world. You're almost guaranteed to have less than 100 seconds on the clock whenever you reach the end of these first levels in World 8. Oh, you almost tried to screw me over there. Don't want to high jump off the springboard after hitting the mushroom there. Because odds are you'll just hit the mushroom backwards. Ooh, that was another close one. Get this. Very important that I get it. The other one. Ah! Help! Ah. Here's another one that gave me trouble at first. Hold on. My nose itches. Stupid nose being a lychee. 